fixed. Oh. It's tough, guys. It's been a tough, tough week. That's an understatement. With this little guy right here. Let me know if y'all can hear me and see me. I'm gonna be squinting because I'm looking basically right into the sun. Y'all's comments went away. I might need to move y'all a little bit closer so I can reach y'all. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, guys. Oh. Y'all should check out Jared's South Texas build from day one. Just incredible to change. Thank you, Ovita. Let me get this situated a little better so y'all can see him. Uh, once again, can y'all hear me and see me before I get into everything? What's up, Dale? What's up, Dot? What's up, Ryan Kelly? Oh, uh, let's see. Yes, okay. All right, well, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I can hear and see you. Okay, cool. I want y'all to just keep in mind life happens, things happen, guys, and unfortunately, Baxter got attacked earlier this week. I'm not 100% sure if it was either Daisy or Tucker or if it was some other random animal out here, but he did get bit on his head and on his uh, the back of his neck, and now he cannot walk. He cannot move other than his neck and his head. I'm holding him up right now. Uh, to be honest, he just peed on me before I, right before I went live, I was wiping it up right here. So he, uh, he cannot move any of his legs whatsoever. He cannot stand on them. He can't put any weight on them. Uh, I've been trying to move his legs as much as possible, but it's, it's bad. It's sad. He, uh, I don't know. I was out weed eating and he was laying over here back where the truck is on the driveway and uh, I said Baxter come here and he didn't get up and I went over there and he had blood on his on his uh, his head his face his ear and what I really think happened to be honest he's a uh, he's the alpha male on this property believe it or not and uh, he puts Daisy and Tucker in their place all the time uh, if I give him treats and stuff, he's the he's the instigator. He's also the one that is the tough dog. And uh, I don't know what happened. Like I said, I, I, I didn't catch it on camera, uh, my camera that I have up there. I was out weed eating in the chicken pen. And like I said, when I came back, he was just had blood all over him. And I, I freaked out. I'm not going to lie. I called Dad and Matt. They came over and uh, we took him over there and cleaned him up. And he does not seem to be in any more pain. But he cannot move whatsoever uh what i i shouldn't say that he can move barely his tail can barely move his feet have a little bit of a like barely any move to him but he can't stand on his own he can't walk on his own uh this has been for uh about three days now and uh if it continues i think i'm going to try to get laser uh i guess laser treatment there's a, a vet that's uh, the one I took him to last time, they do laser treatments, and uh, Dad says that he thinks that that could help him out. But as you can see, he he can move his head, he can move his like his neck around. It's just his body is just limp, and uh, he's not light. He's a little dog, but he weighs I don't know 17 pounds or so, and it's all just it's solid. So uh, I did buy a harness for him. It's a rehabilitation harness. It's going to help him try to walk again. Uh, that's something I'm gonna try to show on the side channel just more of that stuff just the daily stuff that I go through trying to Get him to walk again, but he uh, he is eating. He is drinking uh, He has no issue peeing. He does have issue pooping. Uh, he has pooped twice in the past uh, Three days, but he is a uh, as as bad, bad as it is. He is doing better He just cannot walk 
or a stand on his own. So basically, he's like a like a paralyzed person. Basically, uh, it's very stressful. But I mean, what are you gonna do? I've had him since he was a baby, so I'm not gonna not help him out. So I'm gonna do everything I can to help him out. And uh, like I said, I've I've had him out here with Tucker and Daisy since, and he doesn't seem scared of them whatsoever. They, they don't seem like they're uh, scared of him as well. But I ain't gonna lie, he's he's like I said, he's peed on me several times, and I told him it is what it is as long as he tries to get better. But uh, right now he's he's leaning against me. I'm he's using me as a crutch. Uh, Dad did uh, weld a uh, tripod which i'll probably show you all on my side channel tomorrow i'm gonna start the uh the rehabilitation process tomorrow with him but uh yeah we're gonna put him on that and then i have the uh, re rehabilitation harness with him so uh, like i said if a couple more days if he's not able to get up i'm gonna try to see if i can get some laser treatment for him but uh, i can mess with his paws like this his leg i can move him around it doesn't seem to bother him whatsoever. You can see he's turning his head. He is alert. His ears are alert. It's just he can't stand or walk, and it's, uh, it's, it's tough. I ain't gonna lie. And uh, I let him lay on the ground. I like I said, I have that harness. I got it on Amazon, and it, it it's a little big for him, but it does help him. And then uh, what we're gonna do is let him kind of hang, and let his uh. His, his paws touch the ground a little bit until he's able to straighten out his feet and get a little more weight to it. So it's gonna be a process. I don't know if this is permanent or if this is only like a few weeks or maybe he might snap out of it tomorrow. But uh, like I said, we're gonna just keep loving on him. And uh, I was so scared when it first happened. I honestly thought that it, he was a goner. Let's see, does he have spinal damage? So he can, like I said, he can move his neck and stuff. He can move around his upper body. It's just his, uh, both his legs are, it, he just can't move it whatsoever. So like I said, there is a, a laser treatment that if this, like I said, a couple more days of this or a week or so, if it doesn't get any better, then I'll try to get him some laser treatment. Uh, Vonda, I don't know. I really don't think it was a wild animal or a hawk or anything. Uh, to be honest, uh, like I said, Baxter is a, he's the smallest dog I have at the three. Uh, you can see Daisy back there and Tucker off to the side, but uh, I really think that it was uh, a rawhide bone that I had. I gave him all rawhide bones and I think Baxter got a little aggressive with his and uh, got a little tough with the big dogs. I think the big dog just kind of like just an instant real quick thing and that was it but he is doing better like i said he's he's eating and all that stuff so he's uh like i said he's he's i don't think he's in pain when it first happened the first night he was you could tell he was in pain and then we gave him a uh some over-the-counter like steroids that help with uh, the inflammation and stuff so he's very uh very chilled out right now i'll just say that and so he's in good hands we're taking care of him but it's just gonna be a process guys um it's nothing i could i can't hide that he's hurt or anything or that he got hurt so in in future videos you're gonna see him laying around a lot you're gonna see him inside of a harness uh i'm working with him i'm giving him deep tissue massages and stuff so Yeah, we have a, it was a, I can't remember the exact, I don't know the name of the medicine, but whatever it is, it definitely helped him out relaxing in his muscles and everything, so. He's eating, he's a, I've been giving him milk. I've been getting him a, an egg, cracked in with the milk. Eggs are his favorite. Uh, and then giving him some wet food. He's been eating, uh, basically, anytime I put food in front of him, he eats, so. Other than that, uh, like I said, I 
he's in good hands. He's he's very well taken care of. Luckily, I like I said, I work from home, so I'm with him 24/7. Uh, I want to say he's going to get a full recovery, but it's going to be a process. And I, I uh, he's a strong dog, so I think he's going to be good. And in the meantime, we're building the house. You can see back behind us. We went ahead and added in all the uh, the rafters up top on the sides here, or the uh, the not the rafters, the boards over here on the sides, and then uh, this white plastic over here, the clear plastic. I had a delivery today of the uh, plywood for the roof, so we're gonna start putting that stuff on tomorrow. And then in the meantime, taking care of him and take care of everything else is very stressful, but stuff happens. People have worse things that happen so Baxter uh, Jason and I adopted Baxter in Flower Mound which is up there in DFW we adopted him in 2014 so he's around 11 years old I've had him pretty much his entire life he trusts me over anybody else I can basically grab him work like on his leg stuff he doesn't mind he trusts me 100% and uh yeah, so it's just going to be a process. I just wanted to put that out there because the uh, the harness I got him, it does look pretty intimidating, but it's one meant for rehabilitating dogs to be able to walk again. Uh, if they have either one paw that's messed up or two or the front ones or the back ones, you can adjust it accordingly. And like I said, Dad made a, uh, a tripod where we can uh, have him, uh, I'm trying to think of the right term, I guess suspend. To where his legs are touching the ground so he can start putting a little bit of weight on it and then uh like i said i got puppy pads i got diapers i actually went down to dollar general and uh talked to the manager down there i just said i don't have any experience with babies i don't really know the size of diapers and stuff so she helped me pick some out and uh I appreciate them for that so like i said he's 100 he's comfortable right now he's chilling and uh yeah we're gonna let him dangle there you go we're gonna let him dangle and uh, we're going to get him right where he needs to be, so. He's a tough dog. He's a street dog. Like I said, he, uh, he's a pound puppy, and he's been through a lot, and I've been through a lot, and that's why I said i got to take care of this little dude. He's been through a lot with me. I've been through uh, a lot of stuff in the last 10 years or so. He's stuck by my side, and I'm going to stick by his, so. We are going to take him in and, uh, like I said, eventually get some uh, laser treatment if he needs it, but. I don't know, like I said, his legs will move a, like barely any, you can tell that it's a like nerve damage, but we are gonna do anything we can to help him out. So other than that, like I said, we are still working on the house. We worked on it earlier. Uh, I had the delivery set for eight this morning. I got a notification saying they were running late that it was gonna be in the afternoon. So they showed up, I don't know, around three o'clock or so. And then dad and I started putting on the last set of rafters. We still need to do this side over here. And then uh, we are ready to put the plywood on tomorrow, most likely. So uh, a lot on my plate, guys. So I want y'all to bear with me. If y'all don't see videos, like I said, I haven't posted in a week. There's reasons why I don't post stuff. Uh, it was too much for me to put online and have random people online judge me for every move I make with my, my life and my animals. And... Uh, trust me i like my dogs more than i like probably every single one of y'all watching no offense but that's probably the truth <laughs> but yeah like i said he's a resilient dog and i'm trying my hardest to like i said give him massages on his legs and just make him as comfortable as possible and i ain't gonna lie my shorts right now are uh <laughs> i got piss on my shorts he he peed on me earlier so it is what it is i told mom and dad i said uh if that's the worst thing, if he's eating and he's drinking and he's not in in pain or wincing or anything, if he pees or poops on me, oh well, I can clean that up and get more uh, more baby wipes and more diapers and stuff. Like I said, I got right here diapers and got my baby wipes. So My neighbor is walking by to work, so all the dogs are driving by. So, anyways, let's see. Yes, we love animals more than uh, some, or more than people. And like I said, uh, I don't know. I really do like my animals, and 
He, I, he's, I've had him the longest. He's my little baby. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to leave him. He's going to be sleeping in the tent with me. The big dogs are going to be outside. I just don't want them messing with him. He does have a nice little comfortable bed in there. Uh, I keep the fan on him. And then during the day, like I said, uh, this harness and stuff just came in. So starting tomorrow, we're going to start the process of uh, seeing if we can get him to walk again. But... I don't know. He's just a little dog, so a lot of people feel bad because he's a little dog, but he's, like I said, he's a little turd. Don't don't get me wrong. I love the little guy, but he's a little turd. He's an instigator when it comes to, he's got little man syndrome and wanting to outdo the big dogs. And I don't know. I have, I have confidence that he's going to make a full recovery. It's just going to be a process. Uh, Dad was saying that he, he's seen other dogs that kind of had the same thing and uh, he says sometimes it takes a couple of weeks for them to get out of it, but uh, he's a fighter. He'll he'll make it through it, and uh, if not, then hey, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Seeing uh, Tammy, that's what we thought. Uh, like I said, I didn't see what happened. I was I was weeding in the backyard, and like I said, uh, I saw Baxter up in the front. I do have that rooster out here, and Baxter just chased the rooster. And uh, we thought it, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame my dogs for this, Tucker and Daisy. I don't know which one because I didn't see it happen, but uh, it could either be them, it could be the rooster, or it could have been something that flew up and bit them. But I don't think it's a. I think it's one of my dogs. But once again, he's the instigator here, and uh, like I said, he'll he's a tough dog. He'll get he'll get over it and. Uh, I'm gonna make sure he has the best life. Trust me, he's he's in good hands. He's getting spoiled and he's watched 24/7. So, see, yeah, Teresa, you get it. Yeah, y'all know how little dogs are. They, I I can tell you what, right here, that's Tucker. He, 150 pounds. Baxter weighs 17 pounds. Baxter could have Tucker on his back like that. <laughs> it's just I I think that one of them had his bone and I think he went after, I think Tuck or Daisy, or uh, I can't even think right now. Baxter went after one of them and I think they might've snapped at him. I don't remember what the medicine is. Uh, Dad has it over there, but I've, I've been giving it every day. I have two different medicines that we're giving him. Uh, it's a steroid and it also helps with the inflammation. And I know it's working because the first day he was wincing in pain and since then it, it's very like today he winced once and i've moved him around a lot uh i've been back and forth to mom and dad's i've had him out here in the yard uh dad and i were working on the house we had him out in the yard and mom set out and just watched him and uh like i said he has mobility with his head and stuff it's just i don't know it's i'm trying to stay positive with him it's just it's it's hard it's a lot of uh between this, that's frustrating enough building a house, and then this is just, it's icing on the cake, but we'll get it done. And I know there's, I'm trying to keep positive. Uh, there's people that have kids that are, uh, that are paralyzed, and that's way worse. And that's something that they have to deal with from like a baby, and kudos to those people. I don't, I don't have the, uh, I'm trying to get the patience. I've, I've, I'm working on it, but Oh man, it's a uh, it's hard. But yeah, kudos to y'all. Like any parent that has somebody that's in a in a wheelchair or a uh, paralyzed or even if it feels like temporary, man, my hats off to you guys. I just I, I smell like dog piss. There ain't nothing I can do about it. I, I've taken a shower twice today i've cleaned myself off and i keep cleaning him and that's just what's gonna happen i just have to to deal with it so luckily i live by myself <laughs> sorry i'm squinting like i said the sun sets back behind you guys it's hard for me to read the comments and i'm trying to make sure he's good trying to make sure my dogs are good and all that stuff so Yeah, he's he's comfortable. Uh, like I said, he. Uh, I got uh, just to 
keep in mind I bought a I don't know anything about diapers or kids I don't have kids I don't know I've never changed a diaper on a baby that I can know of so like I said I went to Dollar General and I bought a a, a size three I don't know if that's three months or whatever it is, but it was a. It said 16 pounds to 28 pounds, and I bought a, a pack of diapers. I don't sell them individually, but uh, I bought a pack of diapers and came home, put it on. It was just way too small, so I went back and I got a, a size six, and put that on him. And that's what these are. They're, it uh, I think it fits him pretty good enough that his last diaper over here. I mean, it worked. You can see there's probably pee in the bottom of it right there. It's a little yellow, so it works. <laughs> they make dog diapers. Okay, I did not know that. I'm going to have to make a trip to town. Because I, in case you're wondering, I am cutting out the, uh, I cut a hole for his tail to hang out too. So I didn't know they made them for dogs. So that's, that's a good thing. It could take a couple of weeks. Yeah, Thomas, and like I said, it, uh, it's I just got over my knee not hurting got back into the groove of building the uh, wood got delayed this happened we got him where he needs to be the wood is here I got two thousand dollars worth of uh, plywood and stuff just sitting here under plastic ready to go so uh, it's gonna be a, a busy week I got the boards for my uh, raised beds that I'm gonna be building I got those ordered I also got the mortar over here so I can fix my driveway. That's there as well. So it's going to be a very busy week. The garden is, my goodness, I got peppers growing. I got about a half dozen tomatoes growing. Uh, my grapevine back here is just loaded with uh, little tiny grapes on it. Uh, the house is going to start changing here this week. By the end of the week, you're going to see plywood on this thing. And it's, uh, it's very exciting. It's just stressful at the same time and trying to get everything done at once just gotta get it done luckily I got mom and dad I got Matt to help me out as well uh, Matt's been going through issues with Riley Riley's old as hell he's like 13 years old he's had issues with uh, his ears and his eyes and uh, just a lot of stuff going on granny had some issues today dad had to go down there for over an hour to, to help her out she's 93 years old and just has stuff going on in her head and stuff and just needed to see dad and uh, I don't know <clears throat> let's see and I'll show you like I could pick him up he uh he's very tough and he's very heavy and I like I said I, I told mom I, I'm sore like my shoulders and my uh whatever these most triceps back here or something, they're sore because he's like a brick. He, he can't lift himself. I gotta lift him everything. So if I'm lifting him up, it's like, I don't have a diaper on him, but I can hold him like this, like a baby and stuff. He, it doesn't hurt him. I want people to know he's not in pain. It's just, that it's his, it's his nerves that, oh, look, his tail moving. Like I said, he, uh, he did poop on me twice. And uh, I was getting worried because it wasn't pooping for a little bit. And then uh, I, I was outside at mom and dad's in the front yard. I said, oh, look, he's uh, he's moving his tail. And he, uh, he pooped a few times. So once again, I like this dog more than all you guys. I ain't gonna lie. Don't take offense to that either. There you go, see, look, that's a good sign. He's There's like a gnat or something he's trying to get. No, no blood uh, whatsoever in his urine or his uh, poop. Like I said, he, he's only pooped two or three times, I think, and every time it's been on me, but it's been solid, so it's been good. That's the one thing I said, as long as he's pooping and as long as he's peeing, I'm very confident that he's not in pain and we can get him back to where he needs to be. And if not, then we'll figure it out. But for now, we're gonna try everything we can to get him back to where he needs to be. <laughs> yeah, 
Dax. He is the Clint Eastwood of dogs. He's a street dog, guys. Uh, like I said, he's a he's a pound puppy, and I got him when he was like six months old, and he's got to be over 11. Like I said, I don't know exactly how old he is, but I think he was around six months when I got him. And, uh, yeah, he is drinking water. He's drinking... Uh, he doesn't drink water as much as usual, but in between the water, uh, I do give him milk, which he drinks the milk every time. And I crack an egg in it. I mix the egg and milk together, and he'll lick that up. He'll drink the whole bowl of it. So he has no issue really. He peed on me again right now, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, he has no issue uh, eating or drinking really. If he's hungry, he's gonna eat. If he's thirsty, he'll drink. But yeah, it just sucks. I know people. People feel extra bad because he's a small dog. Same thing with me. I it, You have a soft spot for small dogs over bigger dogs. I don't know why I do, but uh, I still love my big dogs, which, like I said, the other one's right over there. But, yeah, just keep him in y'all's uh, thoughts and prayers and stuff, and just hopefully he'll uh, get back to where he was because it's tough. It's, it's hard. Uh, it's hard. Like I said, luckily for me, I was, uh, when Dad and I were building earlier, Mom was sitting out in one of the chairs and just had Baxter down in the grass, just chilling. He would uh, lay there, and he would kind of move back and forth with his head and stuff, and if I think he's uncomfortable, i just move him over a little bit more and just rub on his tummy and rub on his legs and stuff and try to just massage him as much as possible, and I think he'll be good. Okay, so Dad commented right here. He's on, I'm going to butcher the name of the medicine, but he's on Amantadine and Mel Mela Meloxidil? Meloxidil? Something like that? Uh, yes, Thomas. Uh, Baxter is my old dog. Uh, Tucker's going to be, he turned, let's see, Tucker is four and a half. And Daisy is about four, and then Baxter's over 11. I don't know exactly how old he is, but he's he's old. He does not have any movement in his front legs, uh, barely any. I shouldn't say he doesn't have any. He, when I say he barely has, you could barely see like, like it barely moves like ever so often, and that's what's. I don't know. It's giving me hope that he will make a full recovery, but it's going to be a process, and it's going to be a probably going to end up being a a few weeks at least. And I'm hoping that he he can make a full recovery. And like I said, if if over a week and he's not making any progress, then like I said, I'm going to take him in and see if uh, about the uh, laser treatment. Supposedly that works pretty good. I can okay. The wheelchair, I, I looked on Amazon for a wheelchair. The thing with him is he, he can't move his front legs, his paws and stuff, so he would, it would have to be a wheelchair that's on, like, four wheels, and I'd have to push him around. So, like I said, I'm going to show you all. I don't have it set up now. It's still at Mom and Dad's. Uh, if you want to know more about it, like I said, I'm not trying to promote my channel and stuff, but I'm going to try to show more of the rehabilitation portion on the side channel. Uh, as I'm drinking coffee and stuff in the morning, I'm going to show him. Uh, I'll show you the uh, trap that I have that Dad made. Uh, he actually made it out of a uh, the parts from an old deer feeder. It's it's probably about, I don't know, three feet tall tripod. We have a, a little hook on it, and then I have his harness that I have on it. And it's basically enough to where he has a little bit of weight on his legs. And I think anything could help get him, getting him off of his stomach and laying down all day. So... I try to, I try to move them as much as possible, and uh, yeah, some damage don't show up on an MRI. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, outdoor adventures, but Carrie, I, you get it. Animals are, they're our family. I mean, I don't have kids. I'm out here by myself on this property. Other than like, obviously, I got my parents and Matt over there, but. For the most part, if I'm over here on the property, I'm by myself and my dog, so they're my, they're my kids, and uh, 
whether you believe it or not, I love my dogs. If you don't believe it, screw you. I don't really care. But this dog is going to be in good hands. Uh, and I'm going to try to show as much as I can of him, along with everything else. It's just a lot going on. And I'm trying to, I got to get back in the routine of just filming stuff. But I, I told Dad, I said a lot of stuff with the build itself was tedious stuff, little stuff that you have to, uh, like today, he was up on the on the ladder. Uh, he would give me a measurement. I'd go down, I'd cut it. I'd give it back to him. He'd see if it fit in there and we'd have to, to do it. And it was just, it was a lot of going back and forth. And I just told him, I said, I'm going to wait, especially with the stuff with him that happened. I said, I'm just going to call it a, a wash for this week. If I lose money, oh, well, like, I don't give a shit as long as my dog's alive and the house is, we're moving along with it. I don't care if, uh, honestly, I don't care if you guys are, are mad at me for not posting anything. It's, it's I want to make sure he's good and make sure everything else is good on the property before I start doing more videos. And I think we're at that point where I know he is okay. He's just gonna, it's gonna be a process. And I'm gonna keep saying that over and over because that's what it is. Yeah, Cindy, and like I said, uh, the vet over here, they have a the laser treatment. And I think dad said it's, I think he said it's $35 a treatment and they have up to five treatments for it. And uh, like I said, I'm going to work with him for about a week or so and see if I can get him to be able to stand up. And if he still doesn't put any weight on, then that's something I'll definitely uh, consider getting that done. But for now, he is on steroid medicine. And uh, like I said, he's only winced once in pain today, which is very, very good for him. He's been moved around quite a bit today. And I, I, I don't really, when I said you are mad or I don't want y'all being mad, I don't think y'all are. I think most of y'all are just concerned if y'all don't see me posting for a while. There's good reason why I'm not posting. Uh, there's some days I'm just like, there ain't no reason. I'm not going to put a camera in front of my face if I don't want to do it, especially when my dog is. I'm trying to get him healthy as possible. I don't want to have a camera in my face at the time. So uh, now that we got everything going and it's starting to calm down and move forward then yeah you're gonna start getting y'all's videos back thank you for all the kind words people i appreciate it i really do <clears throat> but yeah i have a uh let's see if i can show you real quick these little pads right there those are the pads for uh <laughs> I think that was a gift that Jason and I gave mom and dad a while back, like a couple of years ago for Christmas, uh, it's some little pads for their outdoor furniture and over a, a while they get old. So we got rid of them and I said, well, dad said, why don't you use them for uh, the dogs to sleep on? So that's what I've been doing. And I got my puppy pads. I normally, I don't have it out here now, but if I'm in the tent, I'll put a, the pad down and I'll put a couple of the puppy pads over it. So if he does have an accident and it leaks through one, it won't leak through both. And then, uh, yeah. Hey, Linda. Nichols. Oh, Baxter had it. He got it. He got attacked by. I want, I'm going to say he got it. He just got attacked by something. I can't 100% say it was Daisy or Tucker or something else, but he got bit on his head and now his entire from his neck down. He's basically paralyzed. Y'all's comments went away. Jovita put the link to my side channel. That's the one. Like I said, if, you, if you're if you really curious about him and like more of a process of what I'm going to be doing to help him out, it's going to be on my side channel. The main channel, we got, I got so much crap going on in my life right now. Like the main channel's got to be just building and everything else is going to be on the side channel. It's just, it's a lot. Uh, the, like I was telling mom and dad, I said, I can just, I can make my coffee in the morning. I can sit just like I am and have you on a tripod. Just sit here and just massage on him and just show y'all how we're uh, the process of getting him back to where he needs to be. I don't think it was a snake, uh, Carrie, based off of the bite mark. Dad says he thinks he saw one. Uh, I think it was a mark on the side of his head, one on the back of his uh, head where the neck is. And I'm touching those spots right now. So that tells you it's not hurting him, the spots. Uh, and then a little cut on his ear 
And my first thought was that it was the rooster because uh, I have a self feeder out here for the dogs and uh, the rooster and the chickens found out where it's at and they found out, hey, there's free food. All we gotta do is push this thing open. And so if I'm laying down at night or during the day, I can constantly hear a ding, ding, it's the door shutting. And I've caught Baxter chasing the chickens off from eating the food. I've caught him uh, with a mouthful of the rooster's uh, feathers and stuff. So it could have been the rooster that flogged him with his, uh, his spike, or it could have been the dogs. But like I said, these two dogs love Baxter. Uh, Baxter loves them. They grew their whole life. They that's all they've known is Baxter, and it could have been where he snapped at them, and they kind of snapped back for the first time because they've never they've never snapped at them before. So it could be anything, and that's one of the things that's kind of bothered me not knowing what it is. But like I said, I've had the two dogs right next to him, and they're wagging their tails and stuff. And see, once again, he's he can move his from his neck up. It's just the rest of it's just issues. It's, it's sad, it's tough, it's hard, it's a lot to take in, but we'll make it happen. It just smells like pee all the time, and I gotta uh, constantly wipe them down all the time. It's just like, it's like a special needs kid. And my, like I said, my hat is off to those people, those parents that have special needs kids. Ooh, man, I don't know how y'all do it. Hats off to mom and dad for raising me with a missing leg as a kid. That's a lot of stuff to handle. Y'all's comments went away. Dallas Gurra, yeah, I, uh, like I said, he's a Chihuahua mix, but don't get me wrong, he's heavy as hell. He's like 17 pounds, so I'm not even joking. When I said my arms were sore yesterday, it's because I don't lift weights. I never go to the gym, but when you're constantly lifting up a dog like this over and over, you start to feel muscles you don't use. And I'm like, man, I feel like I like was uh, working out. And yes, it, like I said, it, it could have been the rooster. I don't know 100%. I'm going to say it was one of them just based off of the, the markings on it. But like I said, he doesn't take it personal, and of course they don't either, so. <laughs> Elaine, trust me, I get it with what you're saying. I ain't gonna lie, I almost, I got teary-eyed when I first saw him, because who wants to see your little dog? Uh, don't get teary-eyed, Jerry. You got 700 people watching you. You got, when you see your little puppy, because I don't care if a damn if he's 11 years old, he's my little puppy. When you see him bleeding like that, ooh wee. Ugh. What's up, David? Uh, Baxter had a, uh, an accident something something bit him on his head and his neck and uh, basically it paralyzed him from the neck down so it is what it is <clears throat> yeah like I said uh I think it's just I think it, it I'm pretty positive it's it's nerve damage and like i said if uh if it doesn't get better here in a, a week or so i'm gonna i'm gonna see if i can possibly get that a uh, laser i don't even know if it's surgery or laser sessions or whatever it is to to do it but dad did a lot of research online and uh said some dogs snap out of it and uh like i said each day he's doing better uh, I wasn't about to show him the day it happened uh, or the day after like I said he was where he would barely move and like I said he's his, he's he's very alert he knows what's around him he knows uh, when he's hungry he knows when he needs to, to pee and poop uh, it's just I put him in a diaper and just let him just go whenever he can for now
I'm Christian. Uh, hopefully that's the case. Like I said, that's what Dad was saying. Maybe it's just a take a few days to get out of it. But uh, if not, there's nothing you can do. If it's permanent damage, all you can do is love them and help them move around as much as possible, clean them, and do what you can. Like I said, luckily for me, I got mom and dad over there that can watch them every so often if, if they need, if, if I need them to, or or Matt. But for the most part, he's a he's pretty chill. He he likes just like Daisy back there. He just likes to just chill out and lay down. But anyways, on a, uh, I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping it's temporary. Like I said, uh, you it's nobody 100% knows. And like I said, uh, we'll just play it by ear and give him as much attention as we can. And then in the meantime, work on the house. Uh, the house bill can't stop. I don't want my the frame of the house being out in the weather too much longer. Like I said, I ordered uh, the wood and stuff, which is under the clear plastic in case you're just joining in. And then under the blue plastic is the, uh, the wood for the walls. So I have all the wood to enclose the house. And uh, in case you're wondering, uh, as soon as the roof gets put, put on, I'm gonna be moving my tent inside the house, uh, probably in my either my living room or my bedroom, and uh, I'm gonna be living in there. At least I'll have something covering over the top in case we get some crazy storms, plus where the tent is, if I could turn y'all that way a little bit. Plus where the tent is, we need a trench there for electric. That's right where the electric line's gonna go, so. Uh, I don't know, just keep us in y'all's thoughts. It's, it's a lot to, to take in in a week. And like I said, I, I didn't post in a few days on either channel. I got my reasons why. And like I said, I, YouTube, it pays my bills. I enjoy doing videos for you guys. It helps me do all the stuff out here. But then again, if I'm not feeling it and I'm not gonna put out any videos and the only one that's gonna hurt is me and my paycheck. And you know what? Oh well, as long as this guy's good, that's all that matters. He's about to pass out my arms right now. I'm trying to stay positive, David. It's hard. Uh, just the stress of building a house. We're not contractors. We don't have blueprints. This isn't a, we don't have a set thing showing that this is how this is going to go. Uh, a lot of stuff we don't show is dad and i will measure it we'll both get up he'll get up on the scaffolding i'll get up on a ladder or vice versa we'll get up top we'll measure something we measure it twice we'll cut it we get up there and it just does not fit and we're like what the hell is going on and we have to come back down and recut it remeasure and uh, it's a process we're not a uh, we're not professionals but i mean we're getting it done and i think it looks great it's just it's it's a process and we're finally to that point where uh we just need to put on two more boards on this side for the the outside overhangs and then uh we'll be ready to put the the plywood up so this next video that's what we're going to be doing we're going to work on the north side so not this side the other side we're going to start working and then work our way up <clears throat> yeah and uh, watch a home series post 40 minutes one time a week and he has 500 subs yeah and to be honest sub counts don't matter neither do the views you can get a as far as money's concerned I've had some vi uh, videos that I get a lot of views on some of them I don't and they're the same amount of time it just depends on how long people watch it and how many ads they watch so you can have an hour long video somebody may click in and watch five minutes and get bored and change it and watch one ad and you get i don't even know how it works as far as how much you get paid but then you again you get somebody that finds it interesting watches the entire thing so uh honestly it, the longer the videos you have the more ads youtube will put into it but then again you have to keep people's uh their attention and stuff that's what i try to do but i mean I, I watch videos. I'm just like you guys. I watch videos. I skip through them. I skip ads on some things. But ah, Brian, good thing you mentioned that. We don't have it right this minute, but that's something we need to pick up. Uh, 
I didn't even know that was a thing, to be honest. Dad's the one that said get them, and I uh, got on, on Lowe's and tried ordering them, but they didn't have the ones that we needed, so I have to go get those in person. So thank you for reminding me on that. But yeah, it's gonna be a last night, or I'll say it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a stressful week for me. So y'all keep me in y'all's thoughts. We're gonna get all this stuff taken care of. It's gonna it's gonna happen. Uh, just trying to get everything done. And uh, last night I did sleep at mom and dad's. It was very windy out here, and I I told mom and dad I said uh, Baxter's a little too stressed in that tent. He doesn't like. He doesn't like uh, storms and stuff, but it wasn't any thunder. It was just a lot of wind, and the, the tent was whipping around. So I said, I'm going to sleep over there. Last night, I'm going to have him in there. So that way he can he can calm down. And then tonight, it's it's pretty calm. So we're going to be out in the tent tonight. So wish us luck. Uh, everything should be good with him. And like I said, uh, I wish y'all could. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move y'all down real quick. Hopefully, it's not going to show anything inappropriate. But... Uh, Like I said, I do this. I'm moving his legs. Let me cover up my nipple. I don't want to get canceled. Like I massage on his legs, all that stuff. There's no pain whatsoever. You can move his leg. I'm sorry. I moved his leg a little too far that time. But you go like this. You move his legs. Just keep him moving. And then we'll keep him on the medication. So. Other than that, like I said, he's still... Uh, uh, golly, this thing's hard to move. He's still... Uh, see that look? He is alert. The dogs were over there. There's something out over there they're barking at. But, yeah, I'm going to go and end it. Uh, like I said, keep him in y'all's thoughts and prayers. I don't matter keep him in y'all's thoughts uh i'm gonna work with if y'all really want to watch more of what i do to help him out uh just go over to the side channel str talks and i'm gonna show more of the putting diapers on him uh show you the harness how i plan on uh getting him to try to walk and stuff again but like i said it's, it's tough and there ain't nothing nothing other than that that i can say it's tough so Anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let's see if I can turn him around for you real quick. Ugh. There you go. You want to say bye to the people, huh? He's still alert. He's got his ears up. Like I said, he's a he's a good little boy. So I do appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, the build's going to continue. And along with him, he's going to continue to recover. And I hope you guys want to stick along and watch him and send y'all's well wishes so anyways i appreciate you guys for watching and i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace i'm gonna get some sleep tonight it's been a long day